add this to the eighth density moment. There's me sitting. I sit here. Inside my mind, it starts moving. I have psychic activity. Outside my mind, there's things going on in a cycle. My mind looks at that cycle and gives it a name. It's a circle. But, okay, so I don't want to keep going on that because I'm, I could explain more and more and more and more as I go. And people will say, oh, it's just numbers and you're just making words up. But no, I want to get back and finish the stuff that Dan's supposed to do. I'm supposed to finish my working on my truck and all that stuff. But I don't, it doesn't really matter. But, um, say I'm sitting here looking at something on TV and I have any other person or any other thing watching it with me. The total outcome of the three things watching, as in me, another and all the the total combined opinion of that is like a three-dimensional thing so we put a tv on and we look at the tv or we could just look at the, out at the world and have a you know a three-way decision on the outcome okay you me and the outcome the rest of it and the outcome is the fourth dimension so the fourth dimension is that tv screen we look on the tv screen we turn it on now it's on really there's no activity it's just fuzzy that's the fifth dimension the color the voice um, characters pop on TV and they're sitting still. It's the color and it's the sight. And now it's your action about that sight, looking at it. Your, your psyche, six, this, this six chakra, third eye. You looking at it with everyone else there as that character does stuff. And you make a decision on that character from outside the TV. You looking at the TV... So we have the seventh dimension, is what the people on the TV are doing. And the activity, including others, is the seventh dimension. Because that activity is including others. And you and those three are, the three is me, you, and all else here. Four is the decision, which is the TV. Five is all those there, the decision, the TV, and activity. Then the rest, the next is act, add activity and opinion of the character. Next, add activity, opinion of two characters, or the contrast of two characters being watched by all those aforementioned. aforementioned. And the very last of the eighth is the determined outcome of the characters on the TV or the reaction to the same, or the motion that's happening there, which could be live in time being watched by the other side of the box, being not really alive in, in motion, in space. Those are the two circles. Now the ninth dimension is a little crazier because it's not just the emotion, it's the true outcome, the divine, the true outcome of the four dimensions on the TV that they're watching from the other side of the TV and having outcome opinions of that whole. So make it four, and four is eight. Add nine and ten. Nine is the opinion of the four that are being watched to their final outcome and their what, what their solution is. Like the champion is the solution of the thing you're watching. And you go back to the other side of the, the me, you, and our decision. And then you put that into a box. D is direction, the fourth. So the fourth dimension is direction, time and space. But that's not time, direction to our minds, that's directions in the metaphysical. So, there it is.